So happy to be with the bad ones, we can say, you know, the show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not scared at all, but I want to ask you something. That's why you're you not here. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. That's why I want to be on Zoom, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> So, you obviously are the bad ones, we can say, but I guess your characters, each one of your characters, has so many layers. So, congratulations, first of all. I want to ask you which aspect did, did you have the most fun playing? And which one was the most challenging one of each one of you, obviously? Oof. Oof. Um, God, what was most challenging? Working with Adrian was pretty challenging at times. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. Um, <laughs> I think the most fun I had a lot of a lot of fun and a lot of fear filming the first episode of mm. Now where mm-hmm. Thomas is really kind of uh, throwing his weight around um, a particular like sequence where Nell and Thomas meet for the first time and it was the first scene we shot and I had this huge periwig on and then this mullet <laughs> wig underneath and it was like 40 essays and we were like sweating in this pub and <laughs> Um, yeah, it just felt like we were doing something really kind of crazy. And then I think as it goes on and gets a little bit darker, I found that our, our kind of time together quite, um, it was, it was quite like we were, we really had to dig in and, and mm. like, um, get into it. It's, mm-hmm. uh, it changes a lot. There's a good arc. So, yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm. Me? <laughs> yeah, go on. Get involved. Um, yeah. I I I really loved, like you said, the characters are so complex and layered. Mm-mm. I really loved the kind of um, the slow turn of Sophia and calculating, kind of how it amps up and how to pace it out. So I love from the end of episode one into like two, three, and seeing the turn happen. That's really exciting because you don't always get to see that happen with a character. Um, and then challenging, I found maybe not a specific scene or moment, but I think because of the, we're the baddies, we're, we're like in and out. Um, so I think, you know, as an actor, you want to just play through the whole mm. thing and really get to the meat of it. So I think what was challenging at times was popping in, popping out, popping in, popping out, and having long stretches in between of, of downtime, mm-hmm. and then having to go and, and jump right in. So that is a is a thing to navigate, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sure. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, for me, um, the great part was playing bad, yeah. being bad, or as we've already said, misunderstood. <laughs> misunderstood. Shy. Yes. <laughs> Not bad. Good, just <laughs> misunderstood. People who... Yeah. Didn't get enough hugs as yeah. children. We don't have superpowers. <laughs> yes, we're All just. Right. It's it's only people. fair. Yeah. If so, we had superpowers, they, you know. yeah. But I, I enjoyed playing that part of it. The challenge was, as Alice said, was making sure when you came in, bit by bit, that you were serving the script. I right. I love the job so much mm-hmm. that my personal challenge was, I hope I'm serving the script enough to make the story, mm-hmm. make the engine work. Right. And so um, that for me was the challenge, trusting the directors and, mm. and Sally's writing. You're joking, obviously, but I guess it's true that you are not completely bad. I mean, there are a lot of politics, social issues, and even Sophia, I guess it's more of an affirmation of herself, you can say. It. So I want to ask you how much all these elements, you know, politics, social issues uh, are important, you know, in construct in the construction of your characters and for the story, because it's not only a war for me between good and bad. It's there's so much more than that. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I feel Sophia is definitely protecting her brother and she starts off very morally sound and, and really intelligent and maybe doesn't have, you know, a platform to, to speak up and to, 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 you know, uh, have her opinions out loud, which, you know, was very uh, true to time. Um, and unfortunately, still a bit true, uh, but getting better. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, and I think, um, I think the, the politics comes a lot with, um, with Poynton. Yeah, when you, when and, you start uh, kicking off. Yeah, and, and, mm-hmm. and I find that I, I think Sophia really has kind of a goal in mind after she gets a taste of the power. And that to me is, is sort of a bit of a side a side part of the story for her mm. is she's much more focused on Mel. But for yeah. you, that's like the main yeah, focus. My, yeah, my, my character, the sort of driver of bad, is, um, <laughs> is that I have this political issue that I want in, in the country. I think the wrong person's on the throne. I want to get another person in and I will do anything to make that happen. And um, 
it's it's all about empowerment. Every character mm. wants their own sense of empowerment, and that gives them security. And they're all pushing for it mm. in different ways, and that's where all the conflict happens. And in a great script, you can kind of agree with everyone、mm-hmm. as you watch them play their story out. There's a kind of part of you that kind of kind of understands、mm-hmm. where they're coming from. That's great writing. Yeah, no, I mean, I think.、Um, <laughs> no, like, no, 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 no. I, mean, I think,、um, yeah, Thomas has particularly selfish needs.、Um, I can see the look. Yeah, yeah.、Um, That's a problematic guy. Yes, yes. One could argue possibly that Thomas is problematic sometimes,、um, but I think,、um, I think, yeah, Thomas has really personal goals. Of you, quite quickly find out he has debts he needs to repay, and, and there's a real selfish kind of. Uh, fear that quickly locates after meeting now,、mm-hmm. but、um, but I also think the kind of political struggle with with us is that like I think for Thomas he realizes he's part of a much bigger thing than he imagined and doesn't have nearly as much control or free will as he thought he did.、Mm. So thanks for that. You know, <laughs> that political control you've got going on. I didn't write、yeah. it. I didn't. <laughs> I'm just saying that I am in service <laughs> to the story. <laughs> but I think the extraordinary thing is. That I find these bad characters really relatable. As、mm, more I watched the show, more I was questioning about them and what are their intentions. So congratulations to all because it's great bad characters. So that's great. great. Thank、yeah. you.、You're、part of the Blanchford gang. <laughs>、yeah. Come join us. <laughs> I want to be on their side. Yeah, <laughs> it's fun over here. <laughs> Now. Something about the setting. Obviously, you、uh, there are amazing location, but you have to wear a wig. So I want to ask you the pro and cons to be you know, to have this location and this setting on the show for you. <laughs> I feel like we had a wig off, didn't we? We both <laughs> had. <laughs> we were always trying to work out. We were talking about the names earlier. What was the name of your wig?、Uh, my my wig、Adriana. was called Adriana. <laughs> Adriana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had two. I had two wigs. I didn't get、yeah. two. I, so you went on that. You had you had a mullet. I had a whole mullet. <laughs> I enjoyed taking my wig off. You、There'd、were very be... sensitive about the mullet. I don't know, but genuinely, I was sensitive about the mullet. But I do think that there's quite an interesting part about the period and how it's written is that you kind of the characters do have different lives when they're presenting in court、mm-hmm. and when they're when they're not. You know,、mm-hmm. I always think of like the, the the final episode with you. I mean, not saying anything, but like、mm-hmm. you're very yeah, that, different without a wig. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. yeah when the uh huh. But we don't put that. No. But we don't say. No. But we know a thing happens with a thing. <laughs> yeah, it's a thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's kind of a thing. Yeah, yeah. The, the the story. I mean, Tom Pye with the costumes. Everything was、exactly. so thought、yeah. out and so detailed. They're so heavy. It's restricting. Sophia's so restricted in the beginning. She's. I'm like sewn into the costumes. They're、yeah. beautiful, and, and com- high necks and really severe and and hair pulled back and all this stuff. And as it goes on, and as she kind of gets into her power a bit. The corset comes off, and she gets a bit looser, and she's wearing her like the undershirt and everything. And it's so you see the story unfold with the costumes. It's amazing. Yeah, but yeah, it's they are heavy, heavy、mm-hmm. and restricting. Heavy it's true to、yeah. form. <laughs> Very much, <laughs> but beautiful. <laughs>